To create an internal link, we need to create another web page. So we're going to open up another notepad or text editor, and we need to create a web page. So we'll quickly create all the headings, and title will be internal link page, close the title, close the head, open a body, and we'll put this is the internal link page. And we need to close the body, and we need to close the HTML tag, and we will save this as link dot html so we have saved our new web page so we'll go back to our original web page text editor and we will start off with a h r e f equals double quote to do internal link all we have to do is put the name that we saved the last text editor which was link dot html then double quote and then we'll put um, internal link as the words to click on and then we'll close the link so we will save that and here's our new web page and it says internal link so when we scroll over it our file name of where we can find it is down at the very bottom lower left hand side and we'll click on the link and then here's our other web page that we created the title was internal link page and the body said this is the internal link page and we can hit the back button and go back to our original page and click on the internal link and now we have linked an internal link or a new web page that we may have created ourselves so that is how you create an internal link page and when you save all your web pages and you're going to link them to each web page they need to be all in the same folder so here is my document library and our main page is called example so there's example and then our new web page that we created was link and they're all both in the same folder so there's example and there's link so make sure that you save all your web pages that are going to be linked together in the same folder so they can be linked together.